Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Ampersand Aqua Board. This is an 8x8 panel and it is a flat 1 8 of an inch. So it's pretty thin. This is their museum series panel. This panel is acid free archival and coated with archiva seal. It protects against support induced discoloration. The amazing watercolor surface, brilliant color and unmatched techniques. Get rich luminous color and have complete control over your watercolors. Endlessly glaze to lift underlying layers of color or back to white. Frame without glass. Watercolors on aqua board can be sealed and displayed without glass, keeping colors and textures true to life. Superior hardboard backing will never tear, shrink, or buckle. And absolutely archival. This acid-free textured clay surface absorbs watercolors like a fine paper. Colors retain their purity and vibrance in a way that even the finest watercolor paper can never match. Then on the back here, they take great care in manufacturing to the highest quality standards. If you find a defect that inhibits or affects the quality of your work, call them and they will gladly replace it. Also, they have a commitment to the environment. Their panels are made from sustainable forest products, so they ensure the protection of wildlife, plants, soil, and water. So... And this little helpful tip that came out, it says for best results, flush out the panel with water using a flat, large watercolor brush to release trapped air in the surface. Once surface is slightly damp, it's ready to use. Rewetting may be needed as you work. Note that heavy water applications may release more air. Use a blow dryer to dry and dissipate air. Enjoy this new paper-like finish and create brilliant watercolors. As you can see here, this panel has some really nice texture. It feels sturdy just like um, all ampersand boards do. And uh, I really can't wait to just get right into it. And of course, I'm going to be using watercolor on this, so I hope to see you there. Okie doke. So I really, really enjoy this aqua board. I enjoy using it for a bunch of different reasons. But before I get into that, I want to kind of tell you some more information about this. Um, so the aqua board comes in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different thicknesses. So they come in one eighth of an inch thickness. And that comes in any size between four by four to 24 by 36 so it comes in really small and huge so you know and anything really in between then it comes in a cradled 7 eighths of an inch and that comes in the sizes of 6 by 6 to 18 by 24 then there is a cradled one and a half inch which also comes in the size of 6 by 6 to 24 by 36 and last but not least they have the aqua board deep cradle two inches which comes in the sizes 5 by 5 to 22 by 30 so you've got a huge range of sizes when you you know think about aqua board and i think it's really cool so now let's talk about why i really really like this board um the most amazing thing to me is the fact that you can sketch on these with pencils and unlike watercolor paper you can erase and erase and erase and as far as I could tell and I did a lot of erasing it didn't mess with the tooth of the paper and it didn't leave indentations it was perfect it, I especially would recommend this for beginners because of that so you know if you're just trying out watercolors or whatever I would really recommend that because you can erase and erase and erase and not like screw up the tooth of this another reason I really like this is it's sturdy it's really thick it's not going to break, it's not going to buckle, it's not going to warp like a paper would. Um, so I, I honestly, if I had a ton of these, I think I would just do all my watercolors on them. One thing that is off-putting, but it's not a bad thing because it corrects itself, and that made no sense, but I'll explain, is whenever you are coloring with watercolor, the color, because of the water darkening the panel itself, the color pigment looks different than what you mixed and that's perfectly fine because when it dries it dries to the color you did mix so it's a little weird at first but if you just like be patient let it dry it's there's nothing wrong with it it's just like I said a little bit darker than what you would normally expect so um I mean I really liked it it's good for a bunch of different media you don't just have to use um watercolor you can use gouache you can use um I think you can even do collage on this you can do acrylics a bunch of that but I just wanted to test out the watercolors because it is aqua board and it's specifically made for you know watercoloring and stuff so uh about the picture since I'm like on a tangent here and I haven't even talked about it yet this is my my original character phalanx and she is a part of a tribe and in this tribe um they it's kind of weird you're born into the tribe and then there are sections in the tribe and as you hit a certain age you are placed in a section and she was placed in the snake tribe so that's why there's like an ouroboros behind her 
and um, they're very scantily dressed, as you can see. Um, that's just the thing. And her sister, Snapdragon, was put into a different tribe section. Uh, and I don't know if you have seen my OC Snapdragon. I've done quite a few doodles of her around this channel. You can look for her. It's random. Anyway. Um, but Phalanx never smiles because they were separated. And so that's why I never draw Phalanx with a smile. It makes me sad, but, you know. Anyway, uh, another thing I really liked about this is the fact that I put some gold embellishments on it um, in acrylics. So anything that looks like dark brown in the painting, it's actually gold and you'll be able to see it at the end. All in all, I think this is a really solid board, quite literally, and I really liked it. Um, it's definitely good for beginners, especially for people who make mistakes, want to practice, you know, um, and it's not going to warp on them and it's not going to cause any weird issues. Uh, and I have no complaints. Uh, it took ink really well too, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I used an inking pen. So, anywho, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget, you can follow me on Deviant Art Page, your world Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little squid army if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!